Hey guys, welcome back to the Big Betway Bootcamp. Uh, this episode, I'm going to be joined by Keto to learn how to entry frag and uh, some of the tips and tricks he uses to be able to pre-fire, to pre-aim, and um, yeah, hopefully uh, I'm going to improve from this video and that you guys will learn a couple of things as well. All right, Keto. So, what are we what are we going to do today? I've heard that you're going to help me with my aim and how to sort of entry frag. So, uh, take me through what we're going to do. Yeah, uh, um, we're going to do some pre-fire practice, I believe, and yeah, I will show you how to entry frag or how to clear corners, and I hope you can learn something. And I, I hope you're going to give me some feedback as well. Like, tell me like if my aim is good or if it's my movement yeah. that needs to be worked on and stuff like that. So that's what I really need to know because I'm going to go pro after these tutorials and I'll be playing you guys at the major. So, <laughs> um, you know, maybe not too much good advice because you don't want me to be better than you. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I want some some tips and tricks from you, especially. Mm -hmm. Let's start with some uh, pre-fire practice. Uh, yep. Let's see how the map is. I never played it before. So let's see how it's going. Okay, so you, you don't know where the bots are, so you just got to pre-fire the, the common angles. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I guess I know where they are. But sometimes it's hard, especially with low sense, to clear all these angles. Oh yeah, what sense are you playing on? Uh, I'm playing 1.2 on 400 DPI. So this, you always need to know kind of where the enemies are. Or it gets hard to like transfer on them, like flick on them and shit. Yeah. Like, you see, it's really hard for me to turn. This is fucking hard. There's some. There's someone short. I saw the little um. Short? Yeah. There's one short. You can see the little. It kind of gives you an indication where they are. Yeah. You killed them all. Uh, maybe CT. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Okay, that's quite that's quite nice. Maybe maybe take it slow so we can work out where the bots yeah, are. We yeah. can then um then we can try to get our best scores and practice hard. Can I just gonna try again, yeah? Yeah, yeah, go for it. The aim punch makes it even harder. <laughs> yeah. One should be there usually, like this is a common angle. I guess not here. Man. I can't even remember where the bots are spawning. <laughs> yeah, this is tough. This is half memory and half reactions. Yeah. Um, but I, I guess though, the harder it is, the more you have to like think about your mechanics and counter strafe and be sort of on your on your toes. Mm -hmm. Okay, go go again. Do okay. do one more time. Yeah. This feel, this feels good. Yeah. But Yash has nice settings, man, I have to say it. <laughs> the game feels good. Yeah? Yeah, really good. There you go, that was 42. Yeah. Oh, you absolutely killed that. I, I want to ask you, what, what's the hardest map to, to entry frag on? Mm, maybe Inferno or Nuke is also hard, I think. Sometimes Nuke and Inferno, I would say. And, and is it... I guess there's like two different aspects to edgy fragging. There's mm -hmm. obviously going first when you're doing an execute, but also um, contacting, sort of finding contact and, yeah. and stuff like that. What do you what do you prefer? Is it just dependent on the on the um, the team you're playing against and what utility they have and stuff like that? What kind of goes into into it for you? Mm, I prefer like uh, going first in f uh, set strats, like when I know what my teammates are throwing, like when like everyone. Uh, knows what to do, you know, like then it's easier for me to clear angles because if I I don't know if I 
Let me kill these bots and then I can show you. For example, if I go like... If you execute on Mirage, for example, then I don't need to do like this, what I do now, like turn around really fast. So I will, yeah. I will just tell my team what I'm what I'm gonna do. Like I ju just go this waypoint, for example, we have dif different name, uh, different names for each waypoint. Then I just charge like this and just clear this area and like my teammates has to go like this and have my back, you know? Yeah. That's like way easier for me. So I don't and, have to turn like crazy. And when you're when you're entry fragging, are you ever are you ever pre-firing? Or is that a bad idea? Because if you pre-fire and they're not there, you're pretty screwed, aren't you? Yeah. I think if you're contacting you can do it sometimes. Let's say on Inferno you know they play double op for example. And you need to make a play and like there's these common angles like CT. Like if you have a really good feeling you can go for these taps, I would say. Mm -hmm. Like one taps, <coughs> like one shots, or against Colts or Dark. But most of the time it's probably late in the round and you don't have equipment. Otherwise I would always like um, flash them away and then like charge them. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is a very, very bad start. I kind of <laughs> want to restart it. <laughs> Yeah, you can see that you want to be really fast right now, I guess. Like you don't yeah, take I'm so much time. <laughs> and right, let's uh, go for the restart there. Okay, what were you, what were you saying? Because I look like I'm going too fast. I probably should just uh, yeah, maybe take, take it easier. Take more time and try to like one shot them. And then, if, yeah, I think it's faster if you go a bit slower and but more precise. And you also <laughs> could uh, need to work on your pre-aim, like. <laughs> but it's same for me, like. Uh, like sometimes when you go, like you aim, you cross hairs in the wall, you know. Yeah. Like this, and it, like now there's no enemy coming, but if there's an enemy like not on the place where you think, then it's not the easiest skill. Yeah, and I just paced three enemies at the same time, so that was mm -hmm. not good. But it, then what? it's fast. But it looks good. You can see that you can play the game, and that you played it a lot. Uh, yeah, the, this five years ago, this would have been. Very easy. Oh, but like I really dislike like that the bots uh, spawn uh, delayed. That it's not not every bot is there already. I don't know. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, what was that? Forty one. Oh, no, like me. Okay, if I if I go again, are there, is there any uh, is there any advice? Mm. Um, you say crosshair placement, because often I, when I come around the corners, I'm like facing the wall like th yeah. that too much, maybe? Yeah. I feel like, uh, I think in this mode, it's like okay to do it because... You know where they are. Yeah, you know where they are, but like in the real game, like when you aim into the wall and then apparently there's one guy in an off angle or something, for example. Yeah. Like, he will just kill you because you cannot react too fast. Sorry, this is addictive, so I'm going to have one more go, yeah. um, and then I want to see you uh, in action again. I remember uh, when I had to do some challenge like this, uh, before I also went like 100 tries or something to have the best possible time. Yeah, you and always want to beat your time. Uh, yeah, and I tried to find tricks, like there was some Glock, some Glock pre-fire uh, things, and I was uh, thinking about maybe bursting some bots is faster and I was trying so many <laughs> different things. Okay. Nice. Right, that, there we go. I okay, think I need to beat this now. I need to do it okay. one more time. <laughs> 
but play playing what's the, what's the advantage of playing low sense because i i used to play like quite low sense as well um and mm. I, I, re I really like it because i don't over over um What's the what's the word when when you when people have quite high sensitivity it seems like they're flicking all over the place and they're, they're not as calm but playing low sense like i never really over flick i feel like when i'm spraying and uh, yeah. people are moving left and right i can actually track it a bit better like i don't yeah. know it works for me but what was it wasn't it for you i feel same like i feel like i can control it much more like i don't know uh too high sensitivity feels random for me i don't know like you can't really rely on it like it's harder to be consistent i think have consistent yeah. aim but I also if you've got good crosshair placement as well you can often like aim with your keyboard if you're good at counter strafing um mm -hmm. they can do a lot of the work with your keyboard uh, and you don't have to actually move your mouse as much yeah okay let, let me see i must uh, you, got, you, you got your yeah, crosshair got, now yeah you i got, got my set, i got my <laughs> setting so no it feels fucking oh, i'll say this but it feels really fast now Maybe it was... Oh, here we go, here we go. You're out to, out to smash my time. Oh. You're, you're on track, so don't, you know, don't feel the pressure. Yeah. <laughs> and these oh, bots... Unlucky, yeah. I think you need to kill uh, the ones on site before short. Yeah. Like, I, I, I've realized that now. Um, I have so much time left. How much time you had? I, I, like, I had like 38 point something, but I don't know. I hope you learned something in this. Yeah, I think I think I did. I think, um, yeah, crosshair placement is something I need to work on. Yeah. Um, actually, okay, tell me, tell me what uh, training techniques I could use aside, outside of doing this over and over and over again. How can what what's some sort of ways to to get better counter strafing uh, and peaking yeah. and um, slightly better crosshair placement? I think uh, play a lot of deathmatch. Like don't play aimbots, just play a lot of deathmatch. Like I know that Santaras, for example, he used to um, play deathmatch on every map, like on a server where yeah. the maps rotated, and he did this like his whole life, and that's why his pro uh, crosshair placement is probably that good. Yeah. But I really dislike playing deathmatch like also because of my sense i don't know how nico can do it for example he's playing only deathmatch i think he has also really good crosshair placement yeah but uh, yeah i think if you want to focus on crosshair placement like deathmatch is the best and yeah just play a lot and uh like really don't care about the stats when you go on dm just focus like that you don't look into walls like this all the time just focus that you yeah. uh, like have yeah good cross cross placement. Yeah, no, sounds good. I used to um when I was playing, I used to do like three hours of deathmatch a day. I do like an hour of aimbots, mm -hmm. then headshot only pistols, then uh, some spray frack, then headshot only. After spray frack, I'd go into headshot only free for all, um, and then I would have to like spray but aim for the head, um, mm -hmm. and just like spray for the head. And that, I found that quite helpful actually. Um, yeah, I think having like the same routine every day is like really helpful as well yeah sadly i don't have all the time for that now so yeah. if, if there's one thing i could do for 20 minutes a day would you say it's it's deathmatch and like but really focus on the crosshair like don't don't just go in there and start flicking all over the place like focus on the thing that you want to improve yeah i would say that like maybe start on aimbots or on some static bot map like just to get yeah. the mouse feeling like five minutes or something and then like the rest um deathmatch and yeah, focus on what you want to improve. Don't just run around and care about the stats. Just play your game, focus on improving, and you will see results after some time. If you keep doing what you do and don't change the routine after one bad day of CS. Yeah. No, no definitely. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, no, you can still do it. And then sight, and then sight, and then short. Why is he taking time to spawn? Is this? I don't know. There's one more jungle as well, but maybe that's why. 
but you still you can still do it. You got 32 seconds. If you get it now, if you get the no. Oh, 37.9. Uh, yeah, you I did made it. it. You did it. You did it. Uh, <laughs> that, was, that was very, very close, though. Like, so very, easy. Very close, well played. <laughs> Man. So, like, when you when you're going for peaks um, mm -hmm. and you're going to entry frag and stuff like that, how often do you crouch peak or crouch and then go for the kill, or do you counter strafe more often? Because like crouching is actually way easier than having to counter strafe and think about it, because you can just hit control and then shoot straight away. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's your preference when going for the peak? Crouching if, or counter strafing? Like for example with Deagle I would like it's depending. Uh let's say I counter strafe against an orb. On Inferno, like B side I always go like like crouch peak like this. Uh with Deagle, but with AK I'm, I think it, I always go like this, like wide strafe most of the time. Yeah. Like don't jiggle like uh, most of them just white safe and go for one shot. And I think it's also really good if you uh, like practice w one shots. Like go for the first bullet always like um, one shot, and then if you don't hit that, you you, you spray. All right, thank you very much, Keto. Um, I'm going to take this advice on board and hopefully go pro. So yeah, if you ever need to stand in any official matches, let me know, and I, I'm ready to play. Um, guys, if you liked the video give it a like and uh, subscribe. See you in the next.